Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for my slightly late, but we got there in the end, uh, July update for my hashtag team project pan 2021. So this is like my sort of full face, full face rolling project pan where I pick a lot of makeup products, some skincare products, some hair care products, some nail products. Um, and I want to target them to use up. And then as soon as I use something up, I sort of want to roll in a new item of the same category. And if you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, a project pan is just a sort of way to focus on products to use them up and to sort of check in with your progress. And the whole point of it is to use up products that you don't love or that's getting old, you no longer want in your collection. It's sort of just taking up room. So it's using it before it goes old and becomes unusable and is a waste of money. So that's what this whole thing is about. So if I'm correct, this is technically a quarterly refresh, which is an opportunity to take out products that I'm struggling with and replacing them for fresh products. The refresh is just a way to make things a little bit more interesting if you're struggling with the products that are currently in your project pan. I have a couple of products that I'm struggling with, but I'm stubborn and I sort of want to finish them up. So I'm not actually getting rid of anything as part of the refresh this month, um, but there will be a couple of things added in just because I've used things up. And also there's a category that I have ignored in this project because I've been doing another video. Uh, and now I'm going to start working in some of that category, which I'll talk about in a second. As per usual, I will list all the products I talk about in the description box and I will start with the products I've used up since last month. Now, the main thing I've used up is this oil from Nooks. Um, look, it only took me two months as a, it was right up the top, halfway full and then completely finished. So it only took me a couple months to use this up. I'm not actually going to replace this with another oil just yet because I still have a moisturizer in here that I sort of want to focus on. Um, so that's done. The next thing that's done, it's almost done. It's my brow pencil. Um, I will have a photo of where it's up to compared to last month. Um, it is at a stage where it's really frustrating because I can't use this to, I can't use it precisely. Not that it's a precise pencil anyway, it's quite a large pencil, but because the brow pencil isn't actually sticking up very far, I can't sort of define my brows much at all. I can only really take this domed nub bit and just randomly sort of rub it on until it's completely gone. So this doesn't wind up anymore. Um, this could be considered done, but I feel like I've got at least a couple more applications. So for this check-in, I'm considering this done and I'm going to work in a new product, but I still have a couple of applications to go. And that's my benefit um, goof proof brow pencil, if you wanted to know. The thing I'm working in and the thing that I'm wearing in conjunction with this today. So again, I can't really get the edges of my brows using this. I can sort of just fill in the bulk of it. Um, I'm adding in a Mac pencil. Now I have actually panned one of these before um, and I know that they don't actually take that long to pan. The difference now though, is that I don't use as much brow pencil because I do have tattooed brows. The only reason I need to fill them in at all is because when I apply foundation and whatnot, um, like powder, it sort of covers some of the tattooing and I feel like I need to sort of draw them back in, but I use a lot less brow product than I used to. So um, this is the MAC stylized eyebrows. Um, and I, yeah, I'll see how this goes. This is pretty much full. I think I've only used it a couple of times. I can't twist this out and show you the whole thing because it's a non-retractable pencil. So it's gonna be one that I'm going to weigh. The last thing that I've finished up, um, and what I mean by that is uh, it probably has a couple of applications left, or does it? Yeah, I reckon I'll finish this in the shower tonight, but this is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I introduced it up here, so it was probably just over a third full. Um, then I was making some steady progress, and in the last month I've used it quite a lot. I will eventually talk about what I feel about this in my empties, so I won't talk about it now. When I went to shine my torch, which is how I like I sort of mark these, I sh shine a torch into it, I couldn't see any product line. So it's right down the bottom. There's only a little bit left. It doesn't pump out. I'm just going to have to pour it into my hand and use it tonight and then it'll be done. So I'm considering this cleanser done. The cleanser I'm actually introducing in is by Good Molecules. It's not a particularly old cleanser. Um, it's not one that I dislike. It's just one that I, 
I don't like the packaging of it. I quite like the pump. The pump is great. It's a gel cleanser. It's quite a gentle gel cleanser. It's quite similar actually to the Dermalogica one, just a lot cheaper. Um, it doesn't foam too much. It's just a nice sort of gentle gel cleanser. Uh, the reason I'm targeting this one though is because the glass bottle means I, I don't use it as much as I would like. I put this at my sink and I don't usually wash my face at my sink, which sounds weird. In the morning, I use a micellar water to just remove oils from overnight and any skincare from overnight, especially since I use acids overnight. Um, I like to remove that, um, but that's my cleanse in the morning. I actually have my showers at night. I do wear pretty budge proof makeup, so I find the best way to remove my makeup is actually in the shower, which is why I like to partly reason why I like to have my showers at night. I put like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm on, I jump in the shower, I do a second cleanse and that's where I use a product like this. Um, but because this is a glass bottle, I don't like having it in the shower in case it drops because where I store my uh, skincare, it's actually quite high and I'm a bit like, this is not the most safest thing. So I'm sort of getting rid of this purely because it's not very functional in my life and not because I dislike the product. Um, another reason I like to have a shower at night is if I had one in the morning, I would have a baby trying to interrupt me or a toddler now trying to interrupt me. So at least I get my like pampering and skincare in at night and I just do the quick sort of cleanse in the morning. So this one, I don't really reach for too often. It is around this mark here. I actually marked this before and it settled a little bit below it. So I might actually need to revise that mark. It's well over halfway done. Um, so I'll see that if I put this in my shower and I'm careful with it, um, I should get through this pretty quickly. So that's my plan. And again, don't hate the product. Just don't, I just don't think a cleanser is necessary in a glass bottle personally. The other thing I'm adding in just to add in is actually a foundation. Now, um, I love having foundations in my project pans because I get quite a lot of use out of them. And I am the type of person to like to target sort of one or two foundations at a time, maybe a lower coverage one, maybe a heavier coverage one. Um, and I just like to use it up and then move on to the next one. Because I have a collection of foundations where I have around at least a dozen, almost 20 foundations. Um, I can actually use up a foundation in around three months if I use it most days. Um, so in my project pans, I've always loved to have foundations. But earlier this year, I decided I wanted to try all my foundations that I have in my foundation drawer and do a bit of a declutter. Now I do have that video coming up. I've already filmed it and I've got all the foundations in front of me. Um, but I did film it really late at night. My makeup was a bit crap and I also haven't taken photos of me wearing all of these yet. So that video is in the works, but I did target about three or four foundations to put in my project pan. So they're foundations that I like, but I just don't love. Um, and the first one I thought would be fun to pan is actually by Mecca Max. So this is an Australian brand. It's like um, Mecca's home brand. So um, it's the Life Proof Longwear Foundation. And one thing that I like about this, it's actually in an airless pump, so I can mark it and it will go up as I use it up. So I'll be able to see some good progress and be able to accurately mark it, which is great. Um, this foundation, I'm not wearing it today. This is uh, more of a going out filming foundation and I am going out later, hence the reason I'm looking all uh, earrings earrings and a lot of eye makeup. Um, this one is a more low to medium coverage foundation that I can wear just on a daily basis. Um, so that's the first one I'm going to target to use up. There's one other product that I'm going to be introducing this month and it's to replace a bronzer that I haven't yet used up, but again, I'm so close to. So uh, with my Jouer Bronzer Duo, uh, you'll have a close up on the screen and where it was up to last month, so you can see a bit better, um, but I have hit some major pan. So I think I hit pan actually a couple months ago, but the pan's just been getting bigger and bigger. And now it's at a point where it's just around the very rim of the pan and it's very, very hard to pick up. So I do need to repress this. The way I've been using it the last um, week or so, because I wanted to show it like this and show how big the pan got. Um, I've actually just been scraping off a little bit and then picking up the sort of loose powder um, on my brush, which is why it sort of looks a little bit like scratched on the side. So what I'm going to do after this video is just repress it into the middle of the pan. But I do think that I'll use this up probably within a week. Um, because also when you 
repress it, you press it a little bit softer so it's easy to pick up the product. It tends to disappear a lot faster. So I feel like, um, yeah, this will be done so quickly that I'll be left without a bronzer. So the bronzer I'm gonna introduce is actually a really fancy one and one that I really like. It's one that I don't want out of my collection, but at the same time, I don't want to open it one day and realize it's gone off. And it's actually my Chanel. This is a Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a classic product. They have reformulated it. So this is the original one, uh, the one that is better. They've reformulated it to have um, coconut, oil I think in it and it's supposed to be not nearly as good as the original one was. I have had this for probably close to at least a year and a half, maybe closer to two years. So uh, it is still in perfect condition, but I feel like it's pushing it. It's pushing it. It's a cream product. They do go off a lot faster than powder products. And again, I don't want to waste this. So I do want to spend the next um, few months using this, trying to use it up or getting as much use as possible. Uh, also, this shade is quite light. I am wearing it a little bit today. Uh, I did put a little bit of the Jouer on top just to add a bit more bronze because this is very, very light. It's a mousse, so it is sort of like a cream to powder product. Um, and it is a little bit orange, but because it is so light, it's a really good sort of uh, cooler weather bronzer for me. And... Um, we're in winter at the moment. So I'm gonna weigh this and keep track of it, but that's gonna be what I'm focusing on from now on. It's gonna be very, very sad day when this goes away because I can't replace it. Um, but at the same time, I'd prefer to use it than, than just have it sitting there gathering dust and going off. Something that I've made really good progress on is actually my mini nail polish. So this is the OPI nail polish. It's a red shade. I did introduce this when it was full, so it was right to the top. Um, I did mark it with a blue nail polish and I've since marked it with a lighter blue. Uh, but you can see that I've gone from it being full and like at the top of the bottle. And now it's probably a good third finished. I've worn this three times on my nails, like on my hands and two times on my toes. So, you know, I'm getting a lot of use out of it and that, yeah, has used up about a third of the bottle. So it gives me a good indication of how long it's gonna take to use this up. Um, one sort of good and bad thing about this is that if I don't put a gel top coat, like I've done with my current manicure, um, this does chip pretty fast. So I do find myself having to redo my nails fairly quickly if I don't use a gel top coat. Normally I'm not a huge, huge red nail polish fan. I do like the color, but I generally like brighter reds. But this dark red, um, it's probably the darkest I personally wanna go before I get into really, really uh, sort of vampy territory. So I really like this color and it's really great because currently we're in winter and it's a really nice shade. So I've actually been really enjoying reaching for this um, and I haven't really felt like I'm missing out on wearing brights just yet. So I'm gonna keep using this while the weather's cool and while it sort of suits what I'm wearing and my vibe. Another product that I've made really good progress on and this that had jumped quite a lot in the last month um, is actually my uh, ultraviolet SPF 30 lip balm. This is the old one, they've since changed it to SBF 50 and they've changed the packaging. Now you'll see at the back that I've used this, I've had this in my project for quite a few months um, and the jump from the last check-in to this check-in is quite drastic. It's like the equivalent of maybe two or three months worth. So I've gone through this a lot faster in the last month. Now the explanation for the jump in usage has just simply been that I don't know where my lip treatment is that I use overnight. Um, my kid sometimes finds my little Laneige lip balm and hides it somewhere. So um, I, I don't know where it is. So I have been wearing this at night. Previously, I haven't been wearing it at night because it does have SPF and it is tinted. So it's not ideal for wearing to bed. Um, but now that I don't know where my other one is, my nighttime one, I've been wearing this before I go to bed, which is just why I've seen so much more usage because I mainly wear these sort of 
thicker lip balm products before I go to bed. Um, during the day, I'll generally have a lip color on. So previously I might've used this like a little bit in the afternoon um, when my lip products faded down, but generally, yeah, it's not a daily thing I reach for, but now it's a nightly thing. So I'll keep using this until I find my Laneige lip balm. Uh, and I feel like if I keep going with the, at the rate that I'm currently going, uh, I should use this up in the next month or two, which would be good. Let's talk about my MAC products because I have seen some good uh, usage on them. Uh, firstly, my Painterly Paint Pot. So this is what I use as my eyeshadow base. I did put a little red nail polish dot at the bottom of this uh, simply so I can sort of gauge how the pan usage has been growing. So the red dot is how big the pan was last month. And then you can sort of see that rim of light around it. Um, that is how big the pan sort of expanded since then. So I have been using it uh, pretty much most times I do my eyeshadow um, and it's just a matter of, you know, getting there. So yeah, pan's getting bigger, which is great. But what I've seen best, best progress in is actually my past Twilight Fluid Line eyeliner. Now um, I was concerned that I wasn't going to use this up this year, but I feel like if I really knuckle down, I can use it up by next month. So that's going to be my goal um, because it is getting a little bit dry, which is fine. It's right down to like the last tiny bit. And the fact that I've had this for years and years and years, it shows that these MAC uh, fluid lines last a really long time and stay creamy a really long time. So uh, I've just found that in the last month, um, it can get a little bit flaky on the eyes by the end of the day, which I don't like. So what I did was I, I did actually get um, some uh, Inglot Duraline and I did rehydrate it so it's nice and sort of uh, liquidy again. Now, again, I've been doing the thing where I've been marking the base of this with nail polish so you can sort of see how the pan has been growing. Um, and hopefully on the screen, I'll find some way to show you the progress I've made. To be fair, I haven't been using this um, every day. I, a lot of the days I don't wear eyeliner, but if I make sure that I try to wear this like four or five days out of the week, I think this will be done by next check-in, which is fantastic. So, hooray, that's been a, a long, a long going one. I think that was in my project pan last year as well, wasn't it? Last month I introduced some sample fragrances. I, I had a, I bought a sample pack from um, Olfactive Studio and I, cause I really wanted to try one of them to see if I was going to like it. Uh, and then you, if you bought this, you could then use the money you spent on this uh, against a full size perfume. I ended up deciding I didn't want the full size perfume. So I'm just sort of working through the six samples I got in that pack. Um, now I am, look, I used up three. So three of them are gone. And then I've got like two and a bit. So I almost used up four, but one is just, it's probably got like one application left. So um, yeah, I'm going to be working on these three over the next month and then I'll figure out what one to introduce next. All right, some bottles with lines on it. Let's start with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Um, it is down to here. Now, last month I did make better progress than some of the previous months, but it's pretty consistent going. Um, and based on my usage, I probably have a month or two to go on this. So I'll just keep using it. Um, I feel like I use hydrating mists a lot more in summer. Um, and I just, I don't know, it's a step that I've sort of been forgetting quite a lot. So sometimes I'll use this and I'll like go ham on it, or sometimes I'll use it, you know, before I put on my base and then I'll put on over the top. And then other times like today, I just forget entirely. So this one's a bit of a, a finishing spray for me at the moment. I'm not like fully into, so they're taking a while to use up. Um, same as primers. Primers I'm not fully into at the moment. Um, this is the Murad uh, Invisible Protecting Shield Broad Spectrum 15. Um, now this is something I introduced last month and uh, this again has an airless pump. Uh, now I have been marking it where the product sin sits, not at the bottom of the airless pump. So um, last time the product was down to the red mark and now it's at the blue mark. Um, and look, there is some usage, but again, these sort of more silicony, blurry products, I feel like they just make my foundation slip and slide a little bit. So I'm sort of mainly using this on days where I have a really light base on. And if my makeup starts to sort of like 
move around. It doesn't look as noticeable. I'm not wearing this today. I'm wearing like a quite a fuller coverage foundation because I'm going out later. Um, and the last thing I want is it breaking down and smearing off because of my primer. So yeah, this is, I'm using it because I can, but I don't, I don't love this and I don't love primers in general. So it is what it is. Oh, this is one that I thought I was doing really badly on until I actually got my torch out and had a look and I was like, oh, I've actually used it quite a lot. Uh, this is the body lotion I introduced last month. It was up to here. It is down to there. What the heck? Now, to be honest, this is only a 200 ml bottle. So maybe I'm used to things that are more like this size, which is 500 ml. Um, that's a cleanser, not a moisturizer, but you get my drift. Um, but I thought I wasn't making good progress on this and obviously I was. So this is going to be done by next month, which is great. And then I'll look for new body uh, oils or moisturizers to add in. Um, another thing I've make, been making some decent progress on, and this doesn't look like it's a lot of progress, but it actually is for what it is. So this is the Davines Oi oil. So it is a hair oil. And I did explain that I introduced this last month because it sort of is a little bit heavier for my hair. I like something that's a little bit, um, oh, look, my hair is the kind of hair that needs a lot of volume to look like it's not oily and greasy. Um, and if you put anything on it, that sort of is too rich. It sort of just weighs it down and makes it look dirty. So, um, I don't like using this on my clean hair. I actually like using it like the night or the day before I wash my hair. I'll sort of put quite a lot of this in, tie up my hair, have it in as like a treatment, and then I wash it out. And that's how I've been using it. But this progress, which looks tiny, um, is actually a lot. I wash my hair maybe two maximum three times a week. And when I do put this in before I wash my hair, I use like sometimes 20 pumps. So that's probably like, it's a lot. That's actually a lot of pumps. It doesn't look like much progress, but that is probably like hundreds of pumps. So that is, yeah, I'm making good progress on this. And as it stands, I'm, I've probably got a couple months left of this, which is fine. Um, I'm enjoying using it as a treatment. All right, time to weigh a few things. Uh, last, month, last month, I talked about this powder that is actually a combination of two loose powders. Now I have not touched the loose powders on their own, so I'm not going to weigh those. I'll weigh them when I sort of refill this. Now that sounds a bit confusing. So I have two loose powders that I'm targeting in my pro project pan. One is too dark for me and it's more of a matte finish powder and one is very illuminating and it's a little bit too shiny for me. So combined, they make a really nice loose powder that gives a little bit of a luminosity. You can see it sort of on my face. Today, I do actually have a matte foundation on, but the luminosity is partly highlighter from my pan, that palette that I'm trying to use up. Um, and also this, this does give a bit of a glow to the face and the two colors mixed together are a really good shade match for me as well. So the, the way I'm trying to use those two powders is by combining them. So what I did was I took an empty container this Peach Perfect one from Too Faced, and I combine them and now I'm using this up and then I'm gonna refill as I use it up. So I did weigh this last time and we'll check the progress. All right, that's actually not that much progress. I thought there was gonna be a lot more prog progress. So when I weighed that last month, it was at 100.16 grams and now it's at about 95 and a half grams. So I've only really used five grams which, you know, that, that's not that's not insignificant, um, but I thought I was doing better than that. So there we go. But I'll keep using this and then I will refill it as I need to and I'll keep checking in. There we go. Mascara. This is my uh, Benefit Roller Lash. I've been using it pretty much every day. That was at 23.97 grams and now it's at 23.42. So again, around half a gram. Not much, but mascaras take a long time. I've been using it, I have, I promise you. Uh, these last two products I haven't been using all that much. These are the products that if I was to like swap something out uh, in my quarterly refresh, it would be these, but at the same time, I'm stubborn and I want them gone, especially since I had uh, in total four Marc Jacobs eyeliners, these sort of mini ones, these fine liner ultra skinny gel eyeliners. Um, I had four of them and in this project so far, I've used up three. So I'm not gonna stop at this one. Oh no, I'm not gonna stop. Uh, but this shade is a lot harder to use. 
So that was at 5.19 grams last month and now it's at 5.18 grams. Sounds about right. Now I think the packaging weighs about 5.11 grams. So, you know, I've got still quite a lot to go. I had a much easier time panning the brown one, even the sort of gray blue shade because I, they just incorporated it into my looks a lot easier. This one being like a burgundy liner. Um, I really like the color, but I like it on the top lash line, not so much on the waterline because it can make me look a little bit unwell because it looks quite red. Um, and if it's not super, super opaque and it sort of fades down a little bit, it can look a little bit like your eyes are irritated. What I was doing in past months was I was using my MAC Fluid line as my gel liner on the top lid and then I'd use like the brown pencil on the waterline and that's how I got usage out of both of them but because I don't love this on the waterline I sort of have to choose which one to use and this shade being like more of a neutral uh, dark browny plum shade it goes with a lot of looks whereas this one doesn't so much so I'm going to focus on this one over the next month and then I'll start uh, knuckling down and focusing on this one a bit more as well. The last thing to weigh is my Joyco Ironclad Thermal Protectant Spray. Um, I often forget to use this, I'm not gonna lie, it's just not a habit that I'm into very often, but I have noticed that if you even use it a couple of times a month, um, you can see some progress with the weight, so that's what I'm hoping. But if I use this every time I washed my hair, I would, it would be gone by now, but I just, I just forget. Also, it's too tall for where I keep my hair products. So I keep it on a shelf and this is too tall for it. So I have to keep this in a cupboard and to remember to go and get it out of the cupboard. No, it's just beyond me when I'm having my shower and washing my hair. I forget, I forget about it. It just, it, it is what it is. Anyway, that was at 136.91 grams and now it's at 126 and a half ish. So um, look, still 10 grams used up even though I've barely used it. So imagine what it'd be like if I used it twice a week. Ah, oh, it'd be gone, but I don't, I forget. All right, I think that's everything. So there's some progress on everything, which is great. And that's also why I don't really want to, um, you know, take things out at this quarterly refresh. Um, and there are products that, yeah, if I put this back in my collection after using up three of them this year, I would be very disappointed in myself. So this, even if I have to use this as a bloody lip liner, maybe I'll use it as a lipstick one day. Hmm, maybe I'll try that. Yes. Anyway, it's gonna be done. I'm gonna use it up soon enough, but um, yeah, that's my update. Uh, I don't feel like I've used up as many products as I have in past months, but my minimum goal is to at least use up one new product a month. And I feel like um, I will, I've been doing that and I will definitely do that next month as well. So I'm a happy camper. So if you're doing a project pan, let me know how you're going in the comments uh, down below. How many products have you used up this year? That might be a hard question to answer, but um, Give me a ballpark figure. Has it, is it one? Is it 10? Is it 20? Is it 100? How are you going? 100 would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, how are you going with it? And um, yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.